Hello there, my name is Noelle and I'm from Earns.com and this is our YouTube page and today I made a video showing you how to fill a wooden cremation urn. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn the urn over exposing the screws on the bottom to you. Before removing the screws, you're going to want to use some sort of tape, most likely masking tape, as a temporary placeholder so that you know which side belongs to which when you're putting it back on. Now you are ready to remove the screws. You will want to do this gently so you do not harm the threading on the screw itself. As you take out the second screw, you are ready to remove the bottom piece and inside the urn, you're going to find a baggie. This is not always included, but more often than not, you will find this with your wooden urn. Take out the plastic twist tie and set it aside for now. Then you're going to want to open up your bag and get it nice and open so that you can place it fully on all corners into the urn. You're going to want to make sure you leave a little bit of the plastic bag at the top so that when you're putting the ashes into the urn, none of them spill over. Another good idea is to put a plastic bag down underneath the urn in the area that you're working at so that if anything does spill, you're able to clean it up properly afterwards. Now you are ready to take the cremated remains out of the temporary receptacle that was given to you by the crematorium. Now while you're lifting the remains, what you're going to want to do is make sure that the top of that bag is all the way tight and then you're going to place that and shove it into the newer bag gently and you're going to slowly pull up to release the ashes into the newer bag and urn. While you do this, do not forget to pull the edges of the plastic bag in the urn up constantly so that it doesn't get tucked inside accidentally. Now you're ready to slowly pull the bag out and try to get as much of the remains into that bag as possible. Place that other bag aside, then you're going to take the remains and you're going to grab the bag gently, pull it up a little bit, and just ease the rest into there nice and gently. Then you're going to twist the bag around, secure it with the twist tie that's provided. Then you're going to be ready to twist the rest of the bag nice and tight and just tuck it right underneath the lid there. Now you're ready to put the lid back on First, you're going to want to put one of the screws in, start to thread it, then find the hole, match up the masking tape that we've used before, and start to screw those back in. One other thing to consider here is to add a little bit of glue to the bottom to seal it for good. This just depends on your preference and if you ever want to open it again, but some people like to have the urn sealed forever. Now the final step is to remove the tape gently and you are all set to go. Thank you for watching our video. I hope it was informative and if you have any questions, put them in the link below and we will answer them as we can.